I discussed how I was aware that uh, some of the volunteers were unhappy about how policy decisions had been made and how um, at least one has suggested or made a comment that counselling had been brought along on the backs of the befrienders. Not although he had answered this question on Saturday, some of them were still unhappy about it. And there was some substance in their praise because um, the supervision for um, the unpaid council has eventually first been set up with funds which have been made available for the, uh, the volunteers or for the befriended side of the project. And that perhaps in some instances now it's time for the trend to be reversed. I made a comment that uh, I felt that p perhaps regarding supervision and training some of those counsellors who were working in search at the moment could help regarding that but that um, it, I felt it should be unpaid because if Wendy and Jill perhaps were being trained to be supervisors or trainers then to allow them to work with volunteers would be giving them experience and it was, I felt, not ethical to pay them for gaining experience from working with our volunteers. And also that as they had gained from the project originally, then perhaps it was time that some of the paid councillors should give something in return. I understood that Nick basically agreed with this view. And this, I felt, was also a view that had been expressed by Steve McKee during the previous meeting. We had some discussion regarding my workload and the diagram I presented. And the question whether it was based on the work I did month or during the week. And I said basically it was based on the 22.5 hours per week for which I was employed. We spoke about the supervision and support and uh, what was my role or view regarding supervision and I stated it related not to um, personal therapy but supervision regarding work, the client and uh, the referring agent. Although there might be some personal therapy aspects inside it or in there but that wasn't in my view that that was what supervision was about it related to work around the project or for or with the project not personal for the volunteers Nick questioned the networking with interested professionals and asked who was that was with and I spoke of having contact with Hampton House via Hugh Morgan, uh, the community health team, the CPNs who were serving on the community health team, Thurlow with him and with uh, Dermot, uh, that I had had contact or referrals from the for my regard by Mrs O'Brien or Mr O'Brien, the OTs who worked on the community health team and also the social workers who worked within the community health team and also the, which was part of the mental health team based at Chatterton House or rather Chatterton Annex but I hadn't had any sort of contact with the uh, managers regarding the DHS services we spoke about uh, direct work with clients and that's um, how that was on my chart is 2.5 hours Nick questioned this and asked if um, what related to my job description and I said that it was included in my job description also regarding 
supervision and recruiting, training, etc., and admin. But also, the job description states that I'd be assisted by an assistant coordinator. And at the present time, there wasn't one, there hadn't been one for some time. So, thus, um, perhaps my admin work had been increased. He spoke of my direct work with clients and who were they and what were they. And I mentioned that uh, I had probably six to eight. And they were across the board from individual to some family work. And referrals came from social services, Hampton House, from Femoy, from CPNs and the OT, and also the um, community health team social services. In general, my work was probably confined to about 2.5, maybe a little bit more some weeks. But that um, the number of clients that I was working with, I did not see them weekly, sometimes, some of them all fortnight, some of them even monthly. I asked a number of details about the admin and recruiting. I stated recruiting was sending out perhaps telephone calls, speak with people, uh, literature. And that admin also relate to, I kept re record regarding uh, all volunteers and all clients. Uh, also uh, minutes, meetings, etc. Also admin relating to bookings, for training sessions, uh, training, insurance, and uh, affiliation to BAC, etc. I believe it was agreed that uh, there's not much could be changed regarding uh, my workload or case load management at the moment. As I said, perhaps in respect of sharing some other items with John and perhaps in the future investigating the idea of a volunteer assisting with admin work in the absence of an assistant coordinator. I spoke about um, supervision for myself and did uh, I discuss things or did John supervise me? I said, well, mainly we did discuss things together, but uh, as regarding supervision, it's mainly about how or what work should be done, how it could be done for the project, other things, exploring ideas. There was other discussion.